bend. We're going to breathe into it a little bit. Hold it. Come back to the front. Stretching back. Vibhadrasana 1. Working to Vibhadrasana 2. I apologize to you for you seeing my back. So stretching out, Vibhadrasana 2, opening up. Looking over, hips are down. So we look over to the right side, into the right side. Slowly you're going to place your hand down to the floor. If you need a block here, you place your block there. Hand to your waist, open up. Hand to the ear. And then stretching out. Looking past the arm. Pushing down that baby toe side of my left foot. Coming back up, Vibhadrasana 2. Let's go into straightening our legs. Uttita Tree Panasana. I'm going to move mine closer. Stretching over and coming down. Hand is just there. Turn on chest, looking up. Extend. Nice deep breathing. And up we come. Feet facing forward. I'll demonstrate the advance. The advance can go into the started. Advanced people. You have a mat. Your feet are parallel. You're working to Sirasasana. So hands down. Baby finger tucked under. Shoulders braced. Head down. Slowly clasp. Push the shoulders. And working up. So you actually want to stay with your legs wide. I'm going to hold this here for a bit. Toes to the floor, heels out, and extend. So that's for you advanced people. You're going to stay right here. For the rest of you, I you against the wall. Okay, we can do exactly that against the wall. I want you to understand, you're not rolling. So exactly as you went into this pose, and the hip has to come forward. You do that in a lot of your head balances. So this is a chair, I do sell the chairs. But I just want to show you an example of how you can actually go into it. So if my legs are out to the side, my head is going into the center, my elbows are going to stay in, very important. I'm going to come onto the tippy toes and I'm going to roll. Do you see I can roll? So I can actually literally roll over. From that roll, I'm going to now tilt the pelvis. Pelvis tilts, and up I go. It's pretty much the same thing when you're on the floor. You've got to get a bit of movement to be able to do that. So now my legs are out, toes are pointing down, elbows are in. You'll see it's even a balance here. So you can balance it, <laughs> if I get a balance. Okay, so holding it there. So you come down, watch my buttocks go back, my pelvis tilts. Toes come to the floor. And slowly, up you come. So I want you to work exactly that same kind of movement, even if you're working against the wall. You don't round the back. You lengthen through your body, and then you tilt the pelvis forward to come up. All right. So let's say we're all here. We just come back up. And slowly, we're going to turn. I'm going to, this time, I'm going to turn to the front. You can turn that way. And I'm going to step forward to so my knees bent. Stepping forward, Katasana. Dropping those hips. Feet parallel. Inhale, sitting up. Has it got better? Pelvis forward, shoulders up. Sitting down. Lifting the arms. Holding. Holding through the core, not my back. Lifting and breathing. Can I see my toes? Yes. Beautiful, hold. So this time, we're going to go back with our left leg. We'll just turn around just now. Left leg stretches out. Hold it. Keep the height. Hands to pray. You're going to twist to <clears throat> the right. So twisting. Armpit comes down. You hold it. You're making that space. Then you push into the heel. Can you drop your knee? You drop your knee. And if you can, you're looking up. So I've had a bit of flu, my ears are very unbalanced, but hey, I'll get 
to it. Nothing puts me off. <laughs> and slowly back to the center. Okay, arms up, Vigodrasana one. Dropping the back heel, Vigodrasana two. Looking over that left arm. Hold and breathe. Thigh parallel, knee above ankle. Pushing down, baby toe side. Now taking down, left hand, baby toe side, knee block, you place a block. Hand opens up, hand to the short ear, and stretching over, looking up. Hold and breathe. Beautiful. Up you come, keep addressing two. Hold. Let's straighten both legs. I'm going to move my right leg a bit closer for Tita Tree from the side because it is a smaller jump out. So it's your inner leg distance. Stretching over, hand down, chin looks down, long chest. Obviously, your neck is sore, you keep looking down. If you look up, close my right eye, see my right thumb. Hold and breathe. And up you come. Both feet facing forward, fingertips touch, and let's jump it back together. Okay, we're going to do our other side, which is our other inversion. I'm going to just do it straight in my back for you. I want you all to try and work into it. You can have a wall behind you, it's not necessary, because I really want you to feel we, we, you don't have to go up. So this is called Bakasana. You've got your blankie. And foundation is everything. So you need to make a triangle on your mat. And you need to, the place where you place it from is from your shoulders. Your hands are underneath your shoulders. That's the bottom. So there's nice. That distance between my hands is the same distance to my top and the same distance to my sides. That is where I'm going to be placing my head at the top. If you take your heel of your hand and you place it into that little nook by your nose, hand down where the long finger goes. That is what's going to be on the floor. So that's what you're pushing down onto. It's very important you lengthen through the spine. If you're rolling, I will show you the difference. <coughs> Sorry, I apologize. Okay, so my hands are directly underneath. I'm working my head. Sometimes you have to fly out a little bit to get there correctly. So I'm moving my head right out, elbows in. Did you see the difference? I'm bringing them in. I have to have a nice step here. They're not up to the side. They're nicely in. So my wrists are comfortable. Then I'm setting up. I'm going to make sure you're not there. You're lifting up straight back. Lifting up the tailbone. And you bring one knee into that armpit if you can. If it's there, that's okay. But I want you to work here. Because as you're there, you'll see my back is straight and up a little bit more. Then I'm placing the other one. Now I'm putting my feet together like a little book. And you're just going to hold it here. And I'm sturdy. You'll see, look, I'm very sturdy. So you want to just hold it here for a little bit. Those who are more um, advanced, you're welcome to go up into your head balance. Making sure that you're straight. But when you come down, you're going back to the same position. And you're holding. So work on it. Work against the wall. You don't have to go up. I want you just to try and lift. The most important thing is that you're lifting your back and you're straightening your back. You're not rounding. So you'll find the way you know you're rounding is if you put your knees pretty much here. Or they're slipping off and you can't even get to your... You need to lift up. Straighten your back. Straighten through the core, lift up, lift your tailbone, because that's all I would do is I would hold you from behind, that you can have space to be able to lift the knee to place it on. So I want you just to try that a little bit longer. Yes, there is head pressure, but there's the same amount of head pressure on your hands. So it's like a table with three legs. And if you ask me how does it, does it get better, it gets easier. So the longer you do this, I've been doing it so long I can do it on the floor. Um, it's not comfortable, but I, I can do it because my head's become hard from it. So your head does get harder from this pose. Um, 
that's one thing I can say. But you need to focus on how you position it. Very important. Make sure your elbows are not going out. Pull them back in and work a little bit harder with it. Those who are a little bit more advanced, who are doing the up and down and coming down, you may want to even try and get a little bit of balance. So you're in there, you've got your knee on, you see how my shoulders go forward, and you want to see how your balance is. So all you're doing is I'm pushing back. I'm going to keep my knees there, I'm going to push back with my buttocks. You see how I'm sliding back? As I slide back, I'm going to start to lift my head. So my head lifts, and I can open up. That's it. I can even come back down. The word complete control and go back into the position. So you're welcome to give these things a few tries. So you're just literally rounding, working back, moving up, and slowly coming back down. All right. That's a lovely way to work into things because there's a lot that comes from this pose. You're jumping back, you can move back, you can jump into your plank, you can work chaturanga, blah, 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 the whole thing, go back up, a whole lot of different things. But you find balance, you find control, you do things slowly. If you even want to try from this point of view, so you're on your toes, my knees are at my elbows, and my armpits, my elbows are turned in. You're welcome to put a strap again there. Elbows turned in, controlled. Slowly working up, this is exactly where we were. But look at the control to come down. So there's the control, straightening up. Same to come back, controlled, back to the pose. All right, I'm gonna leave you right there to play with that, and we're gonna move on. So I'd like you to come sit on the floor and to grab a strap. All right, so you take a strap and you sit down with your legs straight in front of you, remove the flesh from behind and make sure you're nice and extended straight. Very important, you're lifting up. If you find you like this, so you have a very bad, that's where you are, sit on a block, sit on a blanket, lift up tall, make sure your feet are pushing forward, your knees are down, your feet are up. Let's take the block, the strap, Place around the feet, just place it down. You're gonna bring your right foot, I should be doing it the other way. Right foot in. Ah, no, it's not gonna work this way. R uh, right foot in. Oh, it makes no difference which side I go. I'm really screwing this one up here. Right foot in. You can see me. Right foot in. Hip square. So I'm not opening to the side, I'm bringing myself in, flexing. You've got your strap in place around the ball of the foot. Lift up tall. If this knee is up here, you place something under the knee. You want to relax it down. Join your series of Simon. Lifting up and slowly lengthening forward. Stretch. Work forward. Don't arch. Lengthen. So if you're only going here, I'm happy with that. If you can, grab your feet, your foot. Work onto your foot. And just breathe. Make sure you're pushing that knee down. Both knees are down. Janu is your knee. Sirsa is your head. So it's the head of the knee we're trying to work on here. And this is a great pose if you're feeling nauseous. Got a big P here for puke. And the toilet sits beautifully here. So you'll know what I mean. Stretch it out. Lengthen. To give the girls who are more advanced, or the boys, you can also put your foot up. Or you can tap it right in and have it down. So my toes are tucked underneath. That's also just as good. So whatever makes you feel better, work into the pose. And slowly up you come. So we're going to open ourselves up to the side now. So I want you to take that right and you're going to stretch open. I want you to open up completely. Complete opening. Have your straps still around there. I want it exactly like so. You're going to take your left hand, you place it to your right knee, right hand behind, inhale, lift. Don't let the buttocks lift. Take that down and twist. Inhale, twist as you exhale. Hold. Now, right hand is going to take 
Um, left hand is going to take the right strap. Your left, your right hand can take the left strap. So you're coming over, you grab and hold of that strap. And you're going to go underneath your left arm. So you're going to twist, twist, twist. I mean, underneath your right arm, I'm getting it really confused. Twist. So that you can open up the shoulder as much as you can. If this is as far as you can go, or you're here, that's fine. Hold in the straps, pull them and try and work yourself down. If you can get your hand to your foot, that's fantastic. Work towards it. If you can get top hand to the foot, but I don't want to close it, I want it on top. You're trying to twist yourself to get your head down onto the knee. So it's again head on knee. And you're twisting, opening up straight. Breathing into it. Holding it there. Remember, twists are great for this because they uh, work to detoxify the body. They're great for any fat around the belly. They're great for back pains. And then slowly you're going to come back up. You're going to take down your right hand to the floor. You're going to go onto your right knee. And I want you to have a good stretch. Stretch out. And let's come back to the front. Let's do the other side. So both feet facing forward. Strap nice, sitting up tall. If you're on your little support, that's great. Bringing your left and sit up tall. So again, advanced. You're welcome to be up here. You're welcome to place the toes in there. Don't do it just for fun. It's, if you know what you're doing, you can do it. And then slowly inhale, lifting up. Exhale, working down. Holding the strap, holding to your foot and lengthening into it. You want to be as straight as you possibly can be. Breathing into it. My foot just looks very funny. It doesn't hurt, it just looks gross. Breathe into it and lengthen. So let's work into Paravita and um, Janu Sirsanu. Another great thing this pose is great for is your back pain and stretching your hamstrings. So we're going to open up nice and wide now, very wide, opening up. You're know, taking your right hand, left knee, left hand behind, inhale up, push that buttocks down and twist. Inhale up and twist, exhale. Hold it there. Now right hand, left strap, left hand, right strap. Okay, you got it. Now we want to do the little twist. So you're going to twist yourself around. You're going to slowly start to work yourself down. As you work down, this is where you might be. Hold on closer, keeping closer and closer with the hand. Stretching, twisting. If you can get there, you actually physically twist yourself around to get yourself under and over. And breathe into it. Lengthen and breathe. Hopefully your nose doesn't get the cheeks. And slowly they come up. Controlled. Placing down. Left hand. Left knee. Have your stretch. Okay, coming back down. So we're going to work into our last inversion, which is called Salamba Salvangasana, which is our shoulder balance. Um, I want you to be really careful in doing this. A lot of people do do it without the support. You have a seventh vertebra that sits out slightly here, and we don't want to damage that. And that's really what we're looking at, looking after. If you look at this pose and you say, yeah, I'm not doing that. You need to just go in line with the legs up the wall. So you will bring your buttocks as close as possible to the wall. And then you're just going to lie like this, stretching up. Okay? You're getting pretty much the same great benefits. If you want to, you can always lift butt up a little, hands and the elbows in, and stretch up there. So you're not in the full thing, and there's not a lot of pressure on the neck. 
that you're welcome to do. If you want to just go into that, if you don't have any supports, please be, feel free. Don't push yourself up all the way, because then again, you're going back into hurting the neck. So I'm going to work into the full pose. I work with foams. Sorry, they're plastic coated for COVID. Um, yes, I just grabbed some foams. So I place my foams down. A great way to do it properly is to work with a strap. So again, you strap your elbows together behind you and you place them in and you bring your hands into your back. So with that, I place a little blanket. Now, if you don't have foams, you're going to take a hold of these blankets, you're going to place them on top of one another, and the great thing to do is you can put your yoga mat on top so that you get a nice support here, a nice height, a nice support. I'm not going to bother too much with that right now. I've got enough height, I'm going to need more height here. And if you're going to use your strap, all you would do is before you're going out, you place it 